the introduction of the next generation BMW 3 Series in 2011 stimulated a sharp increase in demand for its predecessor. What should I look for when buying a used E93 Ruble Note? The third series with the E90 index immediately went like hotcakes, unlike the 5 BMW in the back of the E60, whose too bold design did not immediately appeal to fans of the brand. But both cars were painted by the same car stylist Chris Bangle. But be that as it may, the market fate of the BMW 3 Series was very successful. The car turned out to be harmonious in appearance and traditionally distinguished by excellent driving performance. After the premiere of the sedan, a station wagon appeared, then a coupe and a convertible, as well as a charged M version. Initially, the three rubles were equipped with petrol fours with a volume of 1.6 liters, 120 horsepower, and 2.0 liters, 129, 150 and 173 horsepower and 2R6S with a volume of 2.5 liters, 218 horsepower, S, and 3.0 liters, 258 horsepower. Turbo diesels were represented by four-cylinder units of 2.0 liters, 122 and 163 horsepower, and a six of 3.0 liters, 231 horsepower. Gasoline engines were combined with six-speed manual and automatic transmissions. The 173 horsepower version came only with a manual gearbox, Diesels were also equipped with these boxes, and the base 122 horsepower was equipped only with mechanics. All-wheel drive trash key, there are some, were equipped only with six-cylinder engines, gasoline and turbo diesel. The Ukrainian market is dominated by dealer versions of three rubles, but cars from Europe are often found, and any of the options can be considered as a purchase. The main thing is to find an unbeaten and technically sound copy. Ergonomics, the quality of materials and their performance on the BMW 3 Series do not cause any complaints. You can only complain about the tightness in the rear of the cabin. The set is generous. The list of standard equipment includes ABS with brake force distribution along the EBD axles, six airbags, alloy wheels, electric windows and heated mirrors, traction control and anti-skid systems. The first owner usually ordered the rest of the equipment additionally, so there are more richly equipped cars on the secondary with an automatic transmission, climate control, xenon and leather interior. It is known that BMW starts with the engine. Accordingly, the weakest is almost never found under the hood of the 3 ruble note. All motors are with a timing chain drive, the service life of which is up to 250,000 km. The 4s after 100,000 km may experience failures in the system for changing the valve timing, mainly due to the failure of the solenoid valve or fluid coupling. It is necessary to monitor the temperature of the coolant. The motors are afraid of overheating, which can occur due to a radiator leak or thermostat failure. The valve cover can also leak, which begins to warp and even crack due to the worn-out membrane of the EGR exhaust gas system. It must be cleaned periodically. In addition, it is necessary to flush the radiator of the cooling system. There are far fewer problems with turbo diesels. The Fours even have a turbocharger that takes care of more than 250,000 kilometers. In the worst case, after 300,000 kilometers, the injection pump changes, but most often you can get by with repairs. Among the planned replacements are glow plugs and injection nozzles, which coke after 100,000 kilometers. The mechanics are reliable, but the clutch mechanism, as a rule, can withstand 120,000 kilometers. For racers, this period is usually several times less. Automatic boxes withstand 150,000 kilometers. Don't forget that BMWs don't drive slowly. The X-Drive all-wheel drive transmission is reliable, but over time, the transfer box multi-plate clutch servo fails. The fully independent suspension of the BMW 3 Series is no problem. In the front suspension with McPherson struts, the subframe, wishbones and steering knuckles are made of aluminum. The lower control arm assembly with the ball joint usually nurses 80,000 km. About the same amount with stand shock absorbers. In steering, the rack starts to act up after 100,000 km. In the rear multi-link, one of the five levers, the transverse one, wears out by the first 100,000 km, but the shock absorbers rarely withstand more than 70,000 km. Brake pads serve 15,000 to 30,000 km, rear, 25,000 to 40,000 km. Discs last two or three pad changes. The engines have a timing chain drive. Its resource is about 250,000 km. Gasoline engines are demanding on the quality of oil, the consumption of which in loaded modes can reach 1.0 liters per 1,000 km. Turbo diesels are durable if you use high-quality diesel fuel. There are no complaints about the mechanical box. Machines on the 3 rubles, manufactured by ZF and GM. 
Both automatic transmissions are distinguished by their reliability and long service life. At least some cases of breakdowns are rather an exception. Officials recommend regularly changing the oil in the boxes, although these boxes are considered maintenance free. In a generally reliable X-Drive transmission, the transfer case clutch fails, the body of the Treshka is strong and not subject to corrosion, respectively, the rust that has appeared on the body can only be the result of poor quality repairs after an accident. Take care of headlight washers, their covers are often lost, and in winter they freeze in the open position. Repair at the officials comes down to replacing the washer assembly. Due to the ingress of dirt, door handles often turn sour. The front suspension with McPherson struts is quite reliable, the service life of its parts directly depends on the driving style. The most popular parts in stock are the stabilizer links and ball joint assemblies, which average 70,000 km. The rear suspension is complex in design, but not at the expense of reliability. Consumables in it are almost the same as in the front, stabilizer struts and a wishbone. Remember that every 30,000 km it is recommended to set the camber and toe angles of all four wheels. It is advisable to lubricate the threaded connections of the adjusting levers. Often the iDrive system is buggy. In this case, a simple flashing is enough, but sometimes you have to change the computer. The operation is expensive, since it can only be carried out on the official service. On the first cars, because of dirty headlights, Xenon literally burned through plastic. 